Hey, it's Kev here. Let's make Twinkies. Why make Twinkies when we could just like buy some and photograph them? I honestly have no idea, but we're gonna do it, so let's go. Take the default cube and scale it out a bit. About there is good. Add in a subdivision surface modifier and jack up the subdivisions to 6 on both the render and viewport settings. Trust me, we, we want this. Now we go and slice it up a bit. Hit Ctrl R for loop cut and slide and roll your mouse wheel once to add in two slices here. Let's also add in one slice horizontally and bring it down to the bottom. We now have that twinky shape. We can scale it in a little too. That's better. We can also select the cuts and scale them in if we want. It's even better now. Let's go to shading. First, let's make this thing look like spongy twinky goodness. We can do that with a combination of modifiers. I know there's good ways to do this with like shaders and volumes. I've been there and, and done that. This way is cool, it works, and it'll render pretty fast for our current purposes. Add in a Displace modifier. Hit New and get a Butter Tray. Hit the Texture icon, and now let's add in Noise. Take the Strength down to like 0.025 for now. No, 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 that's, that's the wrong way. Let's make it negative 0.025. Better. It looks square and stupid, so let's select it, right-click, and hit Shade Smooth. Better. Now, let's mix it up a bit. So copy the Displace modifier to make a copy of it. Play around. Negative 0.026 seems to add some more to it. Alright, it's shader time. Let's make the shader for the Twinkie. I'll call this one Cardiac, because because really, like, who are we kidding? One of the magic ways we will shade this is using subsurface scattering. It works for this because the spongy bread stuff does that. Make it a yellow-orange color like this. Turn up the subsurface scattering and adjust the color up to a bit more of the yellow. If you were paying attention during Die Hard, you'd know the color. I'll change it to Eevee now, and up the first Displace Modifier Strength to negative 0.05. Now my favorite shading part. Let's make the bottom bit darker than the top. This is where the baking happened and the darkening, the, 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 I, I, I don't know, it's, it's darker there. L look at a Twinkie. Let's select the Cardiac Principled Shader and hit Control T. This works if you have Node Wrangler installed. If not, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, type in Node, and check it. Select the Image Texture node, hit Shift-S for Swap, and we can change this to a Color Ramp node. Now our Twinkie looks like its true age. Borrow the yellow color into the slider and switch it to Subsurface. Add in a separate XYZ, plug the Z into the FAC of the Color Ramp. Watch it not work like this. Change UV to Object and watch it go halfsies. Cute, but not what we want. Switch it to Generated and ooh, there we go. A fast way to just get a slightly brown or caramelized color is to delete the black, add in a new color, move it, and just change the value and hue a bit until you get the color you want, which is similar to that yellow. Let's adjust the lighting. Now that we can see more, let's go play with the noise a bit more. It's always a work in progress. A picture of one mapped onto this would do the trick, but we're having fun, aren't we? I'm going to adjust the cake look a little more. Negative 0.03 and negative 0.025 seem to work. And I'll add in another subdivision surface modifier to the end here, just to smooth out those spikes. There. Actually, negative 0.05. That's good enough. Good enough for me. Yay, 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 yay. Now we add in the cream. Throw down a sphere. Make it smooth shaded, scale it down a bit, and move it into place. If I remember correctly, there were three holes at the bottom where they injected the plastic, I mean, the creamy good stuff. Now, give it a subdivision surface modifier, then a displace modifier, and clouds are pretty good for this. Up the size, flatten it out a bit, and watch it stick through like the old stuff used to. Now, duplicate it two more times, move it and rotate it to make the three puncture wounds look different. We can shade it by giving it a principled shader, turn up subsurface, and that's pretty good for now. We can make this more interesting by duplicating the one and deleting half of it. Before we do that, let's add in one more cut before the place will delete from. This will let it hold its shape. The problem here is it's hollow. We could have booleaned it, but this is better. Select all the points on the open hole, then go to Vertex, New Edge, Face from Vertices. That closes the hole, and being that we have the modifiers on this whole thing already, it just displaces like the rest of it once we hit Tab and go back into Object Mode, see? Now the cream! Let's duplicate some of the cream from before and move it into place. I'll throw down one at the end, then move another into position where the cream would be in the center of the Twinkie, and there. 
Now, one more at the bottom for the other injection site, and cool. We could further refine this thing by going into Sculpt. The trick here, though, is to apply the first subdivision surface modifier before sculpting, so you actually have some geometry to work with. There, not bad. Now we can arrange this stuff however we want. Move them up, give them a plane for a tabletop, add a couple of area lights where we want them and adjust their intensity, there. Lastly, we can add some crumbs by duplicating the cream, giving it the cardiac shader, shrinking them down, and scattering them around a bit. You'll see, though, that they look greenish. That's the subsurface scattering on a much smaller object. We can fix that by duplicating the Twinkie shader, unplugging the ramp from the subsurface scattering, turning off subsurface scattering, and giving the base color the yellow from Die Hard. That's it. You can see it works in EV and cycles. You can always tweak the spongy look more if you want. Also, we used noise for the displacement. If you animate this, the noise is going to move and look weird in your animation. So it's best to apply the modifiers from the top down before you do any animation so it looks right in the displacement. There, Twinkie commercial. Hungry? I am. This file will be up on my Patreon for those who want it. Uh, like almost everything else that I've done that I can put on Patreon is up there right now. So if you're interested, it's there. Also, a free ebook in the description. See you in the next video. Thanks.